today i'll discuss about that how hashing works in the previous class i explained about that all these searching techniques and how it works and I, in this class i will explain about the hashing the practically how it's working how that key value is uh, how will calculate the index using the hash function and how will store the key value in the table size that i'll discuss in this class so there are three component of the hashing one is that key value that is already given another is that table size that's also already given next one is that hash function that is also given so we have three thing key elements table size as well as hash function i have already given table size is nothing but a, this is the hash table this is called hash table and this is the hash function already given and that all these key elements 7 16 33 and 42 is the key elements that i am passing as a input to the hash function and then after using this hash function will get the index and on that index basis will store that all these element in the hash table <clears throat> hash table is nothing but a just a memory there we are going to store all these element so here we have a 7 16 33 and 42 using hash function if i calculate the index of the 7 7 modulus 7 what index i'm getting zero it means that the 7 is going to store at 0th index similar like if i do for the 16 what will i get 16 modulus 7 i'll get it that 2 it means that the 16 is going to store at the second index next element is 33 33 modulus 7 i'll get it that 5 so the 33 will going to store at fifth index 42 42 modulus 7 if i do i'll get that 6 index so 42 is going to store at the 6th index so here i have explained on the integer value means the given element was the completely integer value and using hash function i have calculated the index and i stored all these element in the hash table now sometimes what happen you will get that string then how will you store that string on the hash table and the hash function you will get it and that's always work on the numerical value so for that reason i'll explain you in the next next example that's given that string uh, a b c d and e f g for that how will you calculate the index so can you store a b c d e f g in the hash table for that reason what will you do for that what will you do first assign for every character some numerical value it's your wish sometimes you will give that a equal to 1 b equal to this is the easiest method you can give that for all 26 alphabet you give some integer value on that basis you calculate the numeric value for that string so for uh, I have uh, here assigned that A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, similar like that C is equal to 3, D equal to 4, like that I will assign some value for every character and afterward I will calculate A, B, then what is the value I am getting here? 1 plus 2 equal to 3, it means that A, B's value is now 3, similar like that C, D's value now 3 plus 4, it is a 7. Similar like that, if you check the EFG, if you calculate EFG, you will get that 18. So now we have a numerical value now for AB 3, for CD, uh, for CD 7 or EFG 18. Now and the in, uh, in and also they have given that the table size is in table size they have already given that size is 7 and hash function also given. And what is the hash function? Hash function is nothing but a key modulus table size and key is what? A, B, C, D, E, F, G and their numeric value is 3, 7, 80. Okay. Now what will I do? I will apply the uh, hash function on that numeric value. My hash function is what? Key modulus table size. Key is 3, 3 modulus table size. Table size was 7. So, if I do 3 more 7, I will get value 
3 so this AB is going to store at third index. Now my next element is 7 and my table size is also 7. If I do modulus 7 with 7 will get 0. So this 7 is going to store at no not 7 CD is going to store at 0th index. My next element is 18. 18 modulus 7 if I do what will I get? I will get 4. It means that EFG is going to store at 4 index. So look at that. How hashing is working? Either, either you are going to provide numeric value, either you are going to provide the string value. You can calculate the index and you can store the value at the particular index. Means it's completely based on the key value pair. And why we were using key value pair? Because key is always unique. So can you can easily search the element, and because of that reason, the time complexity of that is order of one, right? will see that the type of hash function here I have explained you that how you are going to calculate the index and that's you are doing with the hash function right but for that for storing the element in the hash table there are also given four method one is that division method another is that mid square method third one is that folding method fifth one is that multiplication method right I'll give that I'll prepare for every method one video because it's not the small small uh, exam it's small uh, topic uh, it will take some time so I'll prepare for every method one video before that the division method recently I have given two example both is nothing but a division method every time you are doing modulus then after you are getting the index and that's nothing but a example of the division method right so again i'll show you that same example of the division method this the, the uh, division method on numerical value so you have given input value 7 16 33 and 42 and you have also have hash function using that hash function you calculated the index of the all all elements value and you stored all these value in the table and that's nothing but a division method. Why I am saying the division method? So name is saying the division. Division means what? Name, division means you are going to divide and you will get the index. And division is nothing but a modulus here. You are doing the modulus. And because of that reason it is called division method. Because of that reason it is called modulus method. So if I can, if I conclude about my whole video. What we learned here, one is how hashing works. Another is that the types of the no, types of method that is required to calculate the index, and the next topic is division method. Thank you for the watching my video.